Saturday night's UH football game at Aloha Stadium was one for the ages with a come from behind win led by freshman quarterback Shevin Cordero coming off the bench in the fourth quarter and throwing three touchdown passes to beat UNLV. While it may have surprised some, not so for his former coach at St. Louis, Manolo Morales has more on that. Manolo? Joe Cordero's coach, quarterback's coach, was Vince Passes. To say that he's coached a lot of good QBs is an understatement. Under the bright lights of Aloha Stadium, Cordero showed that he could play with the best of them. His former coach tells me the freshman always prepares himself to be ready to step in when he's needed. We're so grateful for uh, Coach Rolo uh, to uh, give him an opportunity to uh, show what we already know of Chevin and you know what Chevin can do you know, in moments like this. Passes has been dubbed the quarterback whisperer and quarterback guru, just to name a few. At St. Louis, he coached Heisman Trophy winner Marcus Mariota and leading Heisman candidate Tua Tango-Vailoa. He also runs a QB camp and coach Mackenzie Milton, now at undefeated University of Central Florida, and Jordan Ta'amu, now with Ole Miss. Coach Passes, though, will never take credit for any of their success. It's a real tribute to their family and, and their coaches, you know, uh, pushing them to uh, work hard and, and, and get better, you know, um, off the field um, as well as on the field. As far as what they all have in common, Passes says it goes beyond their incredible athletic ability and work ethic. It's how they treat others around them to make them better. They're all classic examples of, um, you know, all good stuff happening to them by just doing good to other people. Passes tells me he just feels blessed to be a part of their journey. He's been coaching at St. Louis for 30 years. At the age of 62, he has no plans of retiring anytime soon. I've discovered the fountain of youth, and it's hanging around young people that keeps you young. Now, Passes tells me the future still looks bright. He's got players now who he sees as the next Marcus Mariota and the next Tua Tango Vailoa. Joe, back to you. Thanks, Manolo. I thought you were going to say the future looks so bright he's got to wear those shades. And he does.